Hey Cancer, welcome to your April 2021 Money, Career, and Biz reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general Money, Career, and Biz energies for April 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. We are delighted to see you here and cannot wait to dive into the energies for you. So remember, these are general readings. If you have a personal concern, you can book a private reading with me. The information for that is in the description. Also, if you're interested in my free astrology calendar, the link for that to sign up for that is in the description as well and all sorts, sorts of other interesting things. So check out the description to the video. As always, these are general readings. So make sure you use the energies and apply them to your life. All right, Cancer, let's get into your reading. I'm going to start with this deck, No Reversals, to get the general feel and flow of the energies. Then we will also dive in with some Oracle decks and a Super Attractor card at the end. All right, let's see what we have for you, Cancer. You've had some good readings the last several months. Let's see what else we have for you. Oh, here you are, Queen of Cups. All right, and let's see what's on the bottom. Ooh, the Chariot. Excellent. So... We have your energy, double dose of your energy. Just like in the Aries reading, they their representative energies came out and now both in a double dose and now you have a double dose of your energy too. I love when that happens because that suggests to me that this will be a very important month for you. It will be a very empowering month and it will be a month when you're going to see fast movement forward and victories. So this is excellent, excellent, excellent energy. All right, let's see. But the chariot can also be making a decision. There's a choice. There's a fork in the road. <laughs> so let's see what else we have. Cancer. Mm, the high priestess. See? The number two. So two possibilities. Which way do we go? All is not revealed yet. How do we make the decision? The star card. The two, look, another number two, the two of coins. Isn't this interesting? The six of swords. I think you guys got that last month too. The lovers, again, another number two. And the king of coins. Okay. Cat hair, sorry. And Capricorn energy. All right, this is, okay, thank you, Ariel. Okay, this is very interesting. Very interesting. All right, Cancer, let's dive into this. So, we do have a choice to be made. This, this is 100% what I'm feeling from this energy. Um, whatever you choose, the important thing is to choose from your heart-based destiny. Choosing from your heart-based destiny is going to allow you to manifest the prosperity. So we have your energy popping up, which to me is always about, you know, emotional fulfillment, card of the heart. We have the star, which is about your destiny. It is about the direction you're heading in. It's also about a healing, of course, but it's a very destined energy for me. We have, of course, the beautiful lover's card. Again, a card of the heart what you're really falling in love with, what opportunity really lights you up and is aligned with your heart-based destiny. There is a caution here not to be too obsessed with the financial success of this decision. The finances will come. You will build the structure you need to make the finances happen. We have Capricorn. We have double dose of Capricorn here also, King of Coins and also the Devil card. But like I said, there is a caution here to not put too much obsessive energy on the financial part. The finances will naturally flow out of you choosing the course of action, the destiny, the movement forward, the direction you're going in that best suits your heart. So, you know, it's, it's that old expression, do what you love and the money will follow. That's what we have here. And it's good to be reminded of that. It's good to be reminded of that. I, and you know, that's the thing. Like, I, I think 
even if you don't choose your heart-based situation, you choose something purely for the money, I mean, you'll still be successful. You'll get the money. But I don't think it will be as fulfilling a journey for you. And to me, the journey is about your fulfillment, first and foremost, because your energy came out. So, <laughs> there is something that is still to be revealed about your path going forward. And since this looks like a number 11 here, and we have the new moon in Aries on the 11th or the 12th, depending on your time zone, I think by the time we get to this new moon in Aries, you'll know exactly what this new destiny is unfolding for you. There is a piece of information that the universe will reveal to you. This could be a message. This could be a dream. This could be a sense you have. You know, your intuition is so good. An intuitive download, a dream, etc., etc., A sign from the universe somehow that will reveal your next right destiny. What is going to make you feel most fulfilled? And also that brings in healing into your life as well. So here's the part that's very interesting to me is we have the two of coins and both of these are, you know, this, I always say this, the guy's on a bicycle, not a rocket ship. So there is a sense of momentum. There is something that's going to move forward, but we want it to move forward like the chariot. We don't want it to move forward like a bicycle. We want it to go faster and manifest more quickly. So that's why we have the choice. Notice we also have two sixes here. Why we have the choice to figure out, well, which is the thing that is going to set me free, six of swords, make me feel these new potentials, help me leave behind old stuff in my life that I don't need anymore, old mindsets, old baggage, old just, you know, limiting beliefs, toxic energy, all those things could be a literal place that you need to leave behind, whether that's a workplace, where you're living right now, whatever the case may be. So there's that energy that's here as well. So there, there are two ways to go. But with the Two of Pentacles, to me, there's always one that is the better choice. Because one, the one is raised up, the other is, is below the guy. So, and even in the bicycle, you know, one wheel's bigger than the other. So... And this is a penny farthing, by the way. That's the name of this bicycle. Anyway, that's a side note. Um, so <laughs> you are going to be making the decision. Again, we have heart and head kind of like struggling here. Two sixes, the lovers, the six of swords, the head. And maybe it's not a struggle struggle, but in the end, I think most of you are going to choose the heart-based choice, the heart-based direction to go in. And in so doing, like I said, the finances will follow. The finances will follow, king of coins. Now, it is possible you're dealing with an earth sign energy who is a business partner, a boss, a co-worker, or significant other, whatever, with this lover's card, it could be even a family member, um, who may be trying to influence you in some way with this devil card and make you choose a certain course of action that keeps you stuck. Now, they probably have, there's no bad energy here. I think they have your best interests at heart. You know, they're, they're from their perspective, they want you to choose the sure thing. And by the sure thing, I mean the thing they think is gonna absolutely guarantee the do re mi, the do, the money, the moolah. But again, it's not about that first and foremost. The decision is going to come from your heart. So there might be just a little bit of having to deal with them and their situation. But, you know, part of it too to think about is, you know, the devil is a card. Sorry, cat hair. The devil is a card of being chained to something, not having your freedom. So... We have this card of freedom right here. Even the chariot is a card of freedom because you're commanding, you're commanding this. You're in charge of where it goes, how it goes, where you go. So while this person may have good intentions, they may be keeping you chained to something because they're afraid you're going to change in some way. 
that you're going to maybe leave them or leave them behind. And I mean, in a sense, not necessarily with a relationship, although that's possible. Or in the sense of you're not going to be as available to them. You're not going to have as much time for them. You're going to be on another level, another plane, another existence. You get the point. So because we have all these major arcanas, this beautiful energy manifesting of success and star can be being a star, fame, fortune, renown, your name in headlights. I mean, headlights? No, not, we don't want your name in headlights. We want your name in headlines. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, not in the headlights. Oh my goodness. I don't know where that came from. Okay. But you get my point. So there is possibly something that it's a playing small energy. Now, this could also be something to do with maybe some limiting beliefs you need to shift out of your life. That's possible as well. Allowing yourself to move beyond the safe and secure and allow yourself to really shine, again, really shine with this energy and put your special talents and unique capabilities out into the world and follow this destiny fully without holding yourself back to a coins by trying to, to play small or trying to get a guarantee or do the sure thing. So, so there's all these, these possible permutations of these energies that could be manifesting in your life. It's a general reading, apply it to your situation. But I do feel that in the end, you will achieve your goal. You will achieve the financial uh, foundation because we look at the Capricorn energy as ruling the structure and foundation of our life, of building a solid foundation for yourself in this new pursuit, in this pursuit of your unique capabilities and talents and this new destiny. This is new energy. And it's interesting because this energy was, was really kind of coming up also in last month's reading for you. But look at all these. Here's you. Look at all these major arcanas here. Really. When you fall in love with your heart-based destiny, and that's what drives your chariot. That's how you manifest this. So that's how to make the decision, really. But there might be a little back and forth this month. I mean, there may be until you get to that new moon in Aries, which if you have cancer rising is your 10th house of career. So this is a big moment for you, Cancer, to really change your destiny and also change your thinking and get ready to move forward more quickly when you choose the bigger, playing bigger and showing up bigger and bolder in the world than just this. Because notice, these are just the minor arcana. This is just, you know, the regular... Da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, day to day. This is like, wow, like a destiny energy, beautiful talents and capabilities, especially to do with writing, the arts, creativity, all Gemini related things. This can also be talents as a healer as well and communicating your messages of healing through whatever means you use to do that. It's a general reading, you know, there's so many ways one can do that. Depends on your unique uh, talents. But you do that and that's going to propel you on your path so, so fast. So this is really, really nice energy. Really nice energy. Some of you have two pursuits. There's two projects. Like I said, um, I do feel that for some of you, Okay, here's the thing. For some of you, it's about choosing one or over the other. For others of you, it's about choosing the one direction, but two projects that kind of offshoot from that one direction. So you'll know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about with that. All right. So, all right, let's, let's get to the next portion of our reading. Like, for example, if you're a songwriter, like, or let's, let's put it this way. You're a writer and you've been writing poetry, but you've also been writing songs. 
and you know what you decide hey I'm gonna choose my songwriting that's that's where I'm really I'm gonna choose that one direction but you you find that you have a real love for writing let's say um, atmospheric music like music they could use in movies or television and then you feel like your other strength is is like pop music something like that okay I'm just making something up here so it's still one direction but you're choosing to to focus on two like offshoots of that one direction so for some of you it might be like something like that okay or you're a healer and you decide that you're really gonna focus on healing you know energetic healing so you do your Reiki but then you're also uh, you know doing something with aligning chakras and, and things like that okay so it's the same same concept all right let's see what else we have for you cancer this is very good energy very good whoops all right we don't want three like one this is excellent all right let's see what we have like one please one all right here we go leadership take charge of this situation yes I mean that's what we have going on in your life that's the thing do not allow somebody else to talk you into something into some way that you should be going that's that double energy you know you should be this is should shoulda woulda couldas that keep you stuck in certain places of course this can be also be toxic energy so you need to be in charge of the chariot and not somebody else all right let's pull a bold and bodacious so take charge of this situation all right let's see what we have for that as well and because let's not forget you're a cardinal sign people tend to forget that about cancer like you know you are initiating leadership energy uh, look at this again the chariot isn't that funny isn't that funny oh my gosh so you're going places cancer you are going places this is no time to be a wallflower in the corner this is a time for you to step up step out claim your path claim what is yours claim what you truly love your destiny what you want to do please do not let this other energy interfere and that includes like your own perhaps need for security I know security is important to you but the security of following your path with heart and being in charge is likely more likely to bring you the financial abundance you want than playing it small and safe all right so that is something to think about with your money career and business situation so take charge take charge of whatever is going on for you in the month ahead could be that there is some new opportunity posted at the place where you work for a different job a promotion something new you want to try it is time to be the leader and go for it go for it this is about taking chances on this new path making decisions to try something new so this is very good and trust that when you're led by your heart destiny will align perfectly the way it needs to so this is beautiful double chariot double chariot and of course last month we got the chariot for you also I believe and I said how July is going to be a big month for you we have July twice again here as well and of course that is your energy too so your energy coming out so strongly in this reading it is about what you want for yourself for your the next phase of your unfolding destiny with that Aquarius energy that's here the star card and July is going to be an important month you're going to see like I said last month the events of March and now the events of April they're gonna connect to July all right let's see what's in your secret heart of dreams for your money career and business life we got the box Reve reveal your secret power oh my gosh is that like that's like unbelievable 
Cancer, reveal your secret power. That's that's leadership. All of this, reveal your secret power. I said it's no time to be a wallflower. It's time to show everybody what you got. Show them who you are, what you got, what you have to contribute. The beauty, your beautiful energy. It's not time. High priestess can be, I'm hiding in a corner. I'm not telling anybody anything. I got my lip, my lip sealed and I'm just like, you know, the psychic wallflower watching everything, but I'm not saying much. No. All right. It's, this has its place. Do this maybe till the 11th, but then it's like, boom, let people know what the heck is going on. Reveal your secret power. All right. Let's pull some cards for that. Star, shine, baby. Shine. All right, let's see. Shine, baby, shine. The nine of cups. See? Your wishes will be fulfilled. And the nine of swords. Ah, isn't this interesting? All right. Here we go. Look at this. The two nines showing up. It's so fascinating because we've had this number two theme going on through this whole reading. And now we have these two things. So we have the path of wishes fulfilled and we have the path of worrying about how other people will see us and think about us and judge us. That's this nine of swords in this deck for me because you can see she has these eyes all over her body. Like that people have, you know, she feels like paranoid that people are watching her all the time and judging her and it, you know, it's hard to sleep at night. You think, oh, I could have said this. I could have done that, etc. It's the mind. Again, nine of swords, the mind buzz, 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 buzzing about worrying about other people and that and what they think. And that's a theme that also is here, as I mentioned, with this. So it's a choice. You have this choice. It is time. It is time to step up and be this leader in your life. Choose your happiness. Choose what makes you feel so freaking fulfilled and joyful rather than worrying about this. We don't want to see that. Let's put that away. Nine of Cups. Gorgeous. And when you reveal your secret power, that's what will manifest for you. And I get it. I get it. I know. I know it can be challenging to show up and be seen. That that's a that's a very common um what's the word I want? A common situation for people to kind of deal with who want to do artistic things, who want to be leaders, who want to share with the world, who want to manifest more for themselves. So, and for the people around them. But it's hard to do that when you're not being present and you're not allowing yourself to be seen. Notice all this chariot. This person is seen. So if there's something like that where, you know, you, there's the, if, if, you, if that's an issue for you, and I say issue in quotes, if that's something you know you need to shift and energy you need to shift in your life, it's time to start practicing with allowing yourself to be seen. It really is a process, in my opinion. It does not always happen overnight, especially for people who are more sensitive. And I'm not saying everybody watching this is an introvert or sensitive. You may or may not be. But I'm saying especially for people who are very empathic and perhaps lean a little bit more on the introverted side, it can be a little nerve wracking to, to start showing up and putting yourself out there. But the more you do it, the more you practice, it does get easier. So, you know, but this, this energy is really saying like you have too many beautiful gifts, Cancer, to leave them trapped in, inside a box and not being shared with the world. So if visibility is an issue, that is something to start shifting in your life. So, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, let's see what else we have for you. Let's pull a super attractor. Oh my gosh, this is so powerful. 
Reveal your secret power. You do. You have something gorgeous to share with the world. You've come up so many times here in this reading. It's about you this month. It is about you. And starting on a whole new path. I would like one, please. Mm, I don't think that was one. This is one. All right. Oh, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. The angel wings. I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. Yes. As I said, I think for the way to use this energy, my high priestess here, is to slow down. We're in a fourth quarter moon by the time at the beginning of April, by the time we get to the new moon on the 11th. So that is a great time to go inward, to slow down, to reassess, listen to that inner guidance, and that's going to help give you the courage to reveal your secret power, to start this next leg of your journey, to make those decisions that you need to make from your heart, to follow your heart-based destiny, so and to manifest your beautiful wishes. Gorgeous. I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. Yes, it's especially important to do that, I feel, the first 11 days of April, because I think after that, with the number of chariots that we've had show up, things are going to take off for you very, very fast. And you won't have as much time to, to slow down and reflect. It is really about using this energy at the appropriate time of the month because you're going to be too busy. You're going to be too busy leading, creating, showing up, shining, and delivering your gifts and your secret power, revealing it to the world. So Cancer, let me know how you plan to use this energy in April. I cannot wait to hear. I love you guys. Take care and I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.